All right, so now we are on Capricorn. Woo! Okay, Capricorn. Okay, so I see a lot of prosperous work stuff. It's it's so peculiar how today I'm like, okay, we're going to do love readings, and then all this work stuff comes up. <laughs> Okay, but it's a little bit like the Sagittarius energy. It's like expansion on some old ideas. Now, with theirs, it was it could be expansion on old flames. Okay, so now I'm getting that. If you're with a partner and you're here, I feel like the next level then, if you're in that little bit of Sagittarius energy, is a marriage... And if you're already married, then the next level is, okay, now what I'm getting is two people who are, um, especially one person, I feel like this is the Capricorn energy, is like their children are, it's their business, okay, so it's like birthing more in that field, okay, now I'm getting like um, things finally balancing out in the competitive field force or field so where you felt like um things weren't moving where you wanted they wanted them to move they're moving okay it's like opening up opportunities are opening up okay and that goes in love too i feel like now what i'm getting also though is that um even though you may not say it, there's a desire to have a family. Okay, now I wouldn't put that on the back burner. I would focus on that, right? And there's so many ways you can extend um, without physically birthing a child, right? You can have family. There's so many ways now. Okay, so uh, it's, I feel like for someone that's time to have that conversation. Okay, perhaps. All right. Okay, just follow your gut instinct. Okay, when you feel it, that's when to do it. Okay. All right, now, let's see what's coming up then. Let's take the wisdom of the Tao. Let's see what they say. Okay. So, like, for example, if, if children are in the picture and it's causing... One person wants it and one person doesn't. Then what you might do is just try and focus in different areas for now and let that ease and flow come in because that was coming up in the Sagittarius. Okay. And by not focusing there, I feel like everything will fall into place. And it says truly let go. And Sagittarius had that too. All right, detach and leave all of your past behind, emotional or material. You will be adequately provided for. Okay. And it's like letting go of attachments, but not through holding on to attachments. The universe enforces the perfect balance. Live simply. Okay. And I feel like for some of you, do live very extravagantly. And that's okay. But whatever that was you're feeling ease with it with it now okay sometimes it can be feel feel overwhelming right okay all right at any rate uh there is a balance here okay a balance why are these not standing up today hmm. all right okay so that's what i'm getting like in the past you felt like Things came to a halt and that things weren't moving. All right, but now they are. So you can make a difference here. Kichuji. Do not just go with the flow. <laughs> I'm like, go with the flow. This is like, no, don't go with the flow. Go with the flow. Insert yourself. Yeah, so that's movement. Don't lay down. Keep moving. Do not just go with the flow. Insert yourself into the situation to make a positive impact. Right. When it feels good, when you're feeling positive, then make the, that makes a positive in, impact. You have had knowledge and ability to turn things around. Believe and inspire others to believe. Your decisive influence will change the outcome. Okay. P 
ponder what you want. Wang Xiao Jun. Don't view rejection or uncertainty as all negative. Timing. Okay, so that may just be divine timing working in, in working out. Timing may be out of alignment with your intention. So if that's like in the past where things didn't move for you, um, it was leading into you into a different direction. But there is movement here. I'm picking that up. Use this time to gain better understanding of the situation and contemplate what you truly want. This may be a chance for optimal turn of events. And I feel like that's in the love sector. Okay, so this is a singles reading, but I feel like this is the improvement here. A new path. Look at the lighted path. Ooh, vortex flowing. Ooh, I like that. Okay, now for some of you, this is... Uh, might be an Asian person I'm getting. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that could be travels too. Okay, now it's interesting because I'm picking up tree here, right? But they look like spouts, like the vortex could flow with someone. That's what I'm getting. So it could be an earth sign or a water sign for someone. And change your lifestyle. I don't feel like you have to do a whole facelift here. Change your lifestyle. Li Zhi Jing. Nurture your body through communion with nature and strengthen your spirit with laughter. Okay. So engage in mindful exercises like Tai Chi, Qi Gong. Address discomfort before it's too late. Modify your diet. So when things show up, sometimes it's because you haven't been practicing um, harmonious things. All right, so there's that. Yeah, but see, this one's facing forward, and it's a white tiger. I keep getting that, pulling that up. So that's like... Um, that's feeling fairness. I'm feeling balance and fairness. Okay, so here's embrace partnership. A harmonious relationship creates joy. It is um, a bond free from attachments to power, money, or status. Accept your friends and partners as they are. Release all judgment. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. It's like that came up in the Sagittarius reading too. It was like having a healthy partner healthy balance and it's like practicing freedom within your own relationship but still being in love it was a nice feeling okay so it's not like it, it's not like codependent or it didn't feel like clingy you know and if it was it was due to two people um really uh still practicing their freedom within their independence is the word i'm looking for and two p independent people um, really coming together all right all right so it's like anger management is coming up okay now this could just doesn't have to be for the capricorn it could be any sign that, um, well, anybody can get mad, right? Okay, it could be for any sign that has reaches for this energy. No matter what greatness you have achieved and how much you are loved, rage can reverse all of this in a blink of an eye. Take a deep breath and remain calm. The real strategy will reveal itself. Okay. All right, now what I'm getting is in the past there was like this feeling of competition energy and feeling like things weren't fair. And that was the energy that was uh, keeping the vortex from flowing back then. Okay, so um, I always, I, you know, I keep getting flow with your heart and I feel like um, it will lead you in the right direction. Okay. It's like aligning that mind and heart together. Okay, so let's get some romance cards. Let's see what comes up. Mm. 
You are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on another person. Okay. Now, what I'm getting is this is for someone who's uh, achieved a certain amount of status. And the one thing is you feel like is that you would like to have someone to share it with all your stuff. All right. <laughs> I'm laughing because Sagittarius got this too. Okay. Now, you could be harnessing some Sagittarius energy, but this can be also be Gemini, a soulmate type energy, or um, uh, Sagittarius, someone that feels um, like you've known them before. All right. Uh, I shuffled these. Oh, my gosh. Okay, a song of youth and youthful playfulness forever young okay so i'm getting like um that song sailing i'm getting that song who sings that song sailing la, la, la. and they're like um yeah okay so you might be going on spending time around water okay Okay, so now, oh my gosh, I shovel these so good. Okay, love language affirmations. Loving words hold great power. Okay, now what I'm getting is, this isn't, well, you might go do the uh, mirror exercise from Sagittarius, but what I'm getting with you is, with this love language affirmation is, um, instead of not saying the things you want to say just putting it out there and saying it okay that's what i'm getting and i feel like that'll bring you stability and union okay follow your impulses signs and clues the universe is talking to you okay all right so I'm getting la, la Isla Bonita. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's Madonna. Dun, 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 dun. La Isla Bonita. Okay, so someone beautiful is coming your way. Handsome or beautiful. And the universe is talking to you. So are you listening? <clears throat> are you listening? Woo! Burning desire, flames of passion. Might be a fire sign. All right. Now, this is, there was somebody that you were interested in, and the communication was kind of sporadic. And that made you think that person didn't like you. That's for someone who was interested in a Leo. I want to say it was a Leo. All right. And, um... So it's like, for that one, maybe give them the benefit of the doubt, right? You might have had all kinds of stories in your head of what they were thinking or feeling, and it wasn't that at all. Okay, so take a look at that. Give your relationship a chance, and if you can't go back to that one, at least uh, move in a different way with a new one, right? Okay, and I feel like this is what the challenge was quality time together be the witness to each other's lives and i feel like you were doing that with a leo for someone you were spending time with them and you were being a witness to something that they were doing with their work and you wanted that return reciprocity Well, there's no guarantees, are there, when it comes to love. It's, but what is guaranteed is the love we give, right? Love language, quality time. And I feel like if it's two busy people, that's the challenge is... Um, look at this picnic basket here. For someone, they have kids, so that keeps them busy too. And their career, okay. And on your side, I'm getting, uh, you have all this magical feeling about you and how you want to unfold this romance. 
Okay, but something's halted it for some reason. I feel like that's work stuff. Okay, uh, on their end for that Leo one. Okay, all right, now. Now, I feel like you two recognize each other as, uh, when it says twin flame here, soulmate recognition is what I'm picking up. Now, for some of you, that could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Okay, now, doesn't have to be. All right, but you, you've you known this, <clears throat> you know the soul that mirrors your, oh, there's a mirror. Mirror your own. Okay, now you might go see the Sagittarius reading because um, I did some mirror exercises in the beginning. Okay, so you might go look at that. That might actually help you too then. All right, and see, and then the rendezvous will start coming in. A private jet, a private jet, a pri oh, private getaway. Ooh, I said jet and it says get. Okay, so you might be a, a, flying somewhere in a private jet. Okay, a private getaway for two is calling you. Now these remind me of those, um, okay, so I picked up Tuscany in Italy, but it's flooding right now. So what is that? Hold on a second. In some areas. Okay, so that's going to... Um, okay, so what I'm getting is don't hold your emotions back. Just let them flow. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that. All right, now let me shuffle. It could be like, it could be like uh, America. Okay, so America in the, uh, get North California in the wine region. All right, so maybe somewhere over there. Like, <laughs> excuse me. I'm getting, <clears throat> I'm getting frolicking in, in the, the, uh, the winery. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Frolicking in the winery. It's really, it feels lots of fun. <laughs> feels like lots of fun. Okay, all right. So this one drinks wine, I think. Okay. All right, this Leo. All right, okay. All right, so here's Sun. Okay, so um, someone got Summer love, Loving before. Okay, so here's the Seven of Swords. Okay, now, what am I getting with that? Okay, so that's like, okay, so these two are going together, they said. Okay, so what's lurking in the background is that. Okay, all right, but see, here's the Sagittarius energy that I was talking about. Okay, now, woo, so this is like two people who are uh, financially balanced, okay, coming together. Now, for some, it's they're given the inner soulmate energy, okay. And what's this? Okay. You might see them as um, not consistent. <clears throat> and then that caused you to question offering the cup of love. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But look at the potential. You got ten of cups and ten of p pentacles. Man, this is a good reading. Okay. It's a great reading. Okay. All right. Now, so what I'm getting here... Okay, so Emperor. So they are. What's the next one? Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. They have children too. Oh, wait, that doesn't go that way. It goes that way. Yeah, okay. All right, now you see them as independent and not needing anybody. That's what you see. So that kind of caused you to um, leave the building. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, you know, because like in spirit, they have like all these like um, layers of heaven. So I feel, felt like you felt like leaving the building, but you still have um, positive feelings for this one. Okay. And they're giving to a lot of things. Okay. Now this could be you too. All right. So, but that's what I'm getting with. And they're kind of used to getting their way with everything. So that could be the butting of the heads, especially if they're a Leo. So you want to kind of flow with them. 
Okay, and I feel like that's what that flood was in the, <clears throat> I picked up. It's like, <clears throat> you can only hold back emotions. Ooh, see, I keep going. That could be like Taurus energy, not, could be a surprise. Okay, but it's like not saying the things you really want to say. Just say it. Okay, and I feel like that'll bring in the sun energy. Okay, now, that's what this is like sneaking off because not wanting to deal with the competition that is um, wanting your emperor. It could be an impress, but they're in masculine energy. So sometimes they're not in receiving energy. So that could be a clue, too, for you. They may not be open to receive because they're so used to being in a dominant masculine energy. So now... I would, if I were you, what I'm picking up is match that energy and then be the leader in um, this union. So that would be having to open up to vulnerability and asking them out and asking them to go with you to frolicking in the <laughs> winery <laughs> or whatever it is right okay <laughs> okay and I feel like okay here it says what energies in your life require changing who is trying to throw you off balance is it your mind right that would be the number one place to check while you can go with the flow please examine what needs to be altered don't answer one way of the other just yet Temperate responses change critics to collaborators. Okay, so it's like moving in, <clears throat> being able to move with constructive criticism, right, on self and others. Keep calm and think before answering. Okay, so that's the key. Sometimes this Leo or another energy might come strong with a sharp statement, and so you got to be on your toes and be quick-witted and... <clears throat> Find the playfulness in that if it's dry humor, right? Okay. Now, Ten of Pentacles and... Yeah, this is like... This is awesome. You are approaching a significant moment in your life, which may come with bells of a major life happening, or it may be a quiet rise to the next great thing. Celebrate transcending and enjoy the ride. Next stop will be the beginning of your new stairway upward. Okay. Okay, now this looks like Italian gardens to me for some reason. All right, so it doesn't have to be Italy. It could be North California or something I'm getting, or California even. Okay, but... I'm getting more like um, vines and uh, grapes. Okay, Dionysus, wine of the gods. Woo! This is the feeling of this person. It's like it feels really huge. Okay, so if that feels like that, uh, look into the mirror exercise. And um, I feel like you're the match. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been in their experience. So I feel like uh, maybe try that. And here is the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So what you wish for manifests in the physical reality. Let's read this because this is the manifestation. There's no need to worry about finances right now. <clears throat> Expect the money to show up. Your bank account may get a bump from a promotion or an offer of a better job. Oh, I'm getting collaboration energy too. <clears throat> Do more collabs with this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like someone's just held back their emotions for so long. Invest for the long term as well. Think about how you can create a stable financial future and keep your prosperity flowing. So I feel like if you want to be in a win-win situation, right? Okay. And I feel like so if you do collaborations with this one, it's like you'll still be bringing in the money and working on love at the same time, but in a balanced way. Okay. I like it. Okay, now let's get a closing card. Let's get an angel card. Okay. Woo! Live your joy. Okay, so that's kind of... See, even these little things look like grapes on the bottom. But that's what I was getting. It was like... Really like a, a, a prancing uh, Capricorn. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Yeah, following your joy. All right, see, and this one's got shoulders back, heart open. Okay, and so there's like a, a movement into the future. Okay, so if you felt like you made some wrong choices, I feel like they're saying no. Um, all paths lead to one direction, which is this joy. Okay, now here it looks like yin and yang, but this is like the purple violet ray. Okay, so that's what I keep getting is that there's someone really wonderful coming in. Okay, honor your beauty. So you might go do that Sagittarius um, reading. Honor your beauty, Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. And it was about from within to without. Inward to outward, okay, in the outside world. Oh, look. Okay, this one's got a um, bendy dot there. Okay, miracle of a prayer. So positive affirmations was coming out in Sagittarius. I feel like you want to be their superhero. Okay. And if you're a man or a masculine energy, you want to be their superhero. Okay. Now, or superwoman or superhero. Okay. All right. Thank you, Sandalphon, for delivering my prayers to heaven. Okay. So the last time this one showed up, it was a feeling like the prayers weren't being answered. Okay. So, but this one, it feels different. It's like the prayers are being answered. So, um, say affirmative prayers and um, know that they are going to be received. I'll leave you with that.